Creators are growing a lot faster, not from creating more content, but from recommendations. Here's how that works. A person signs up to a creator's newsletter, and then after they've subscribed, a pop-up shows who else that creator recommends. And if the person's interested, they can subscribe to those creators as well. The creators using ConvertKit's recommendations are a part of what's called the Creator Network. Here's a mind-blowing fact. New York Times best-selling author Ryan Holiday says that the Creator Network is driving more subscribers to his newsletter, Daily Stoic, than all other traffic sources combined. And so I know what you might be thinking, I'm not a New York Times best-selling author. How am I gonna get people to recommend me to their audience? But the truth is, I know that you can get recommendations even if you have a small list, even if you don't already know people who run newsletters, even if you're just getting started, because I've done it myself. When I'm not sending emails every day here at ConvertKit, I run my own newsletter on the side. I currently have 533 subscribers and 324 of them came from the creator network. Now I'm gonna show you the seven step process that I followed so that you can do the same, no matter how big or small your email list is. Plus, I've got one bonus tip that you're not gonna wanna skip. Otherwise, you may miss out on some opportunities to connect with other creators. At the top here, you'll click grow and then creator profile. This is where others can get a quick overview of what your newsletter's all about. You can add a picture of you or your company logo here. And then for this first section, I decided to put my newsletter name because that's gonna communicate a little bit more to someone than my actual name because I'm not famous by any means. If your newsletter doesn't already have a name, maybe consider giving it one. The byline is optional and I've decided to leave mine empty, but you could put your name or your business name there if you've already put your newsletter name in the top section. For the bio, here's what I wrote. Learn something new every Friday. Join 500 plus nerds and satisfy your curiosity one question at a time with topics including science, technology, history, and more. What do you notice about that bio? It says every Friday, so people know this is a weekly newsletter. 500 plus nerds gives a little bit of social proof to show that a decent amount of people have found my content interesting enough to subscribe to. Plus, it calls out my target demographic of nerds, which I absolutely consider myself to be. Lastly, there's a short line that shows what it is I actually write about in these newsletters. Finally, pick and choose what colors and fonts feel on brand for your newsletter. I've gone with a purple color scheme to match my logo. Step two is to add public posts to your creator profile. Go through and select any broadcast that you'd like to include here. Now when someone comes to my profile and they're considering recommending me, they can get a pretty good sense of what I write about and if it'd be a good fit for their audience. I have it so that my featured post is the most recent broadcast I've sent. But if you've got a broadcast that's a really good example of what your newsletter's all about, or one that really resonated with your readers, you can make that one the featured post by clicking here and selecting it. And when you send a new broadcast, you have the option to include it in this public feed before you send it to your subscribers. Step three is to add links to your creator profile. For me, I've added Twitter since that's the social media platform I'm most active on and it gives someone a way to contact me. I've also included a link to my favorite books with affiliate links because it lines up with the type of content that I write about in my newsletter. And lastly, there's a link to my about page on my website so that people can learn a little bit more about me. And of course, you can add any other social platforms you're active on or websites that you wanna direct people to. Step four is to find other creators to start recommending. A key part to getting recommendations is to give recommendations so that you can start to get on other creators' radars. When you click on recommendations, you'll be prompted to join the creator network if you haven't already. And there you'll be able to say what type of creator you are and what topics you write about. My newsletter is only about a year old and I don't know a ton of other creators, so I use the Discover tab to try to find some that could be a good fit. For me, I wasn't picky about the creator type, but I wanted to look at people who wrote about science and technology. A creator that caught my eye is one gadget at a time. And part of that was because they included a lot of the stuff that we talked about in part one in their creator profile. So I got a pretty good sense of what it is they write about and who their audience is. So to start recommending one gadget at a time, I just clicked here on recommend. Now I can see everyone that I recommend in the my recommendations section. This dashboard will also show me how many subscribers I'm sending over to the people I recommend. So it can start to give me a sense of who my audience is most resonating with. Step five is signing up to some newsletters. So unfortunately, not everyone is gonna have their creator profile fully built out, but there's still a way for you to learn more about them subscribe to their newsletter. Now, as I browse through the Discover page of the Creator Network, 
I come across the Presently Reading newsletter, and I check out their profile, but I wanted a little bit more info, so I subscribed. I also subscribed because I was genuinely interested in what they had to write about. That's a pretty good sign that your audience will enjoy it too. Step six, and this is what's really gonna set you apart and get you more recommendations, ask. After I got a few emails from the Presently Reading newsletter, I replied to one of them. In the reply, I asked them if they'd be open to us recommending each other on the Creator Network. I explained why I felt that we'd be a good fit and how much I genuinely enjoyed their newsletter. I didn't want them to feel pressured though, so I told them it was totally fine if they didn't think that my newsletter was a good fit for their audience. But I got a reply back and they said they were stoked to recommend me. Now, this won't work with everyone, particularly if you're trying to get a recommendation from someone with a much larger audience than you. But one way around that is just to start recommending them anyways. Creators will get an email once you start to send subscribers their way. And if you send them enough subscribers, they may just start to recommend you back. Step seven is to share on social media that you're looking to partner up with other creators. Now, this isn't as personalized as sending an email or a DM to a specific creator, but putting a post out might reach some folks that could be a good partner for you. I've made a few Twitter friends and creator network connections myself this way and make sure that you include a link to your creator profile. Before the bonus tip, I did wanna mention that we're constantly making new improvements to recommendations and the creator network. You can see all the updates here or in the link in the description. Okay, here's the bonus tip. Set a reminder to repeat this process every four to six weeks. Tons of creators join the creator network every day, so it's a good idea to check back on the Discover page and see if there are any others that could be a good fit for your audience. I've kept up this strategy for my own newsletter, and by doing this sort of outreach for about 30 minutes once a month, I've gone from zero recommendations to 28 in just the past few months. And remember, patience pays off here. Our analysis revealed that creators who've grown their list with recommendations have typically been in the creator network for about three months. It may take some time to organically build those connections and start expanding your audience using this tool. So keep at it. So in the spirit of getting you more recommendations, down in the comments below, tell the community who your newsletter is for, what kind of content they can expect, and make sure to include a link to your creator profile once it's fully built out. Welcome to the new way of growing your audience. I'm excited to see you start growing your list faster with the help of other creators.